Today we are talking about all things anxiety and I'm gonna share my own personal story as well as five things that I do almost every single day that help me when these feelings of anxiety pop up. Hi there, my name is Alyssa. If you're new to this channel, we share all things health, wellness, food focused, energy, lifestyle, etc. And I'm so happy that you're here today. Again, we are talking about anxiety and I'm going to share five things that I try to do to cope with anxiety that really have helped me in the last couple years, ever since the pandemic started, when these feelings of anxiety tend to pop up for me. I do just want to preface before we go, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not prescribing anything. I'm not saying that this is going to cure anything, but just know that this is from my own personal experience what helps me when I am feeling a little anxious. So I hope that these tips help you as well. So the first thing that I do every single day that really helps with my anxiety is by going for a walk in the morning. It doesn't have to be long, it doesn't have to be intense, but getting out in nature first thing in the morning is a really great way to not only regulate yourself with your own circadian rhythm and natural sunlight and everything like that, but it also really helps to elevate and stabilize your mood. Getting outside is great for your happy hormones. It feels really good. It's a great way to nourish your body. It's a great way to get in a boost of oxygen in the morning. And it also, like I said, just feels really good. So I encourage you that if you are someone that struggles with anxiety, try to get outside almost first thing within the first maybe 30 to 45 minutes of waking up and go for a 10, 15, 20 minute walk just to get yourself moving and get your day started on the right foot. Number two, which goes in that same kind of vein of going for a walk outside is sitting in the sunshine. Obviously it's not gonna be sunny every single day, but the days that it is sunny and it's warm enough for you to be outside, I encourage you to try to sit outside for 10 minutes with your arms showing if possible. That is going to really help boost vitamin D naturally. Sunlight is also just amazing for your health of your hormones and keeping you regulated and balanced. Sunlight is just so nourishing in so many different ways and the warmth is gonna make you feel good. I recommend honestly just sitting. Don't try to do anything. Don't necessarily be on your computer. Maybe you could eat outside if you wanna take a little break from work, but you know, don't put any pressure on this time outside. Just sit, just be, enjoy the sunshine, to soak up those sun rays, and I swear it will make a dramatic impact on how you feel. Number three is deep breathing exercises. This is something that I have learned through my yoga practice that I have had for the last 10, 15 years. Um, deep breathing is really, really amazing at regulating your hormonal balances. Um, it regulates your nervous system. It really helps calm. It helps downregulate. It helps to ease tension. And what I recommend when you are doing your deep breathing is think about belly breath. So think about taking a really deep breath starting in your belly rather than just in your chest, which a lot of which is a lot of the ways that a lot of us breathe is we take a deep breath from here instead of from our belly. So when you're taking a deep breath and you're working on deep breathing, first start focusing on your belly. So you're going to breathe in through your belly, breathe in up into your chest all the way until you reach to your collarbones. And then sometimes I like to hold it for four seconds and then exhale all the way. One of the things that really helps me stay on track, I guess you can say with this exercise is by counting. So I'll breathe in for four, starting in my belly. I'll hold it for four up here and then I'll release it for four. And if you can do 10 deep breaths like that, whenever those moments in your day crop up where you're feeling really anxious or overwhelmed or down or you're just needing a little bit of a breather, no pun intended, <laughs> taking 10 deep breaths will absolutely transform how you feel. Again, it's really nourishing to your nervous system. It really helps with feelings of anxiety. It helps to downregulate, it helps to calm, it helps to get you back into the present moment, stop focusing on the future or the past, and it really will just make you feel so good. So I really encourage you to try to incorporate deep breathing if you are someone that really struggles with anxiety. Number four is snuggling. And this might sound 
kind of silly or counterintuitive or that it doesn't actually matter, but whether it's with a pet or a human, those snuggles release the feeling of feel good hormones or the like love hormones with just flood your body with contentment and happiness. There is that kind of saying that when you're feeling sad, you wanna reach for something and you wanna hold something tight. That feeling is really going to support, again, your nervous system. So I feel lucky enough to have a dog that doesn't mind when I grab her, but if I am feeling a little anxious, I will go sit on the couch, I'll go pick her up from wherever she is and I'll just hold her tight and I'll just kind of give her kisses and I'll just snuggle with her and within two minutes, those feelings really start to dissipate because the whether it's the oxytocin that's getting released or just the feel good hormone in general that's released when you are snuggling with something that you love and that makes you feel good, um, it really does help make a difference. And last but not least is a yoga pose that I like to do. I try to do this every single day, but it is legs up the wall. And I've talked about this a little bit on Instagram, and I'm sure that if you are familiar with yoga, then you've seen this practice or pose before, but it really is legs up the wall. So you are sitting on the ground, and then you wanna lie down on your back, and you wanna swing your legs up the wall. And so you're basically against the wall with your back like this and your legs like this. And the goal is that you lie there for a good three to five minutes. Legs up the wall is an amazing pose to downregulate. It really helps to flush inflammation out of your legs. So if you are somebody that does a lot of working out or you have really sore muscles in your legs, it's a great pose for that. But it's also really good at calming anxiety and calming the nervous system down. Again, feels really good. It's a great lower back release. A lot of us hold tension in our lower back. If you feel that it's a little bit uncomfortable, you can prop yourself up with a low pillow. But I swear, this pose, whenever I do it, I feel like I just am like releasing so much tension and energy. It feels so good. My legs feel amazing afterwards. My body feels amazing afterwards. I feel so relaxed. And it really does support those feelings of anxiety when they crop up. So. Those are my five things that I recommend in a daily practice if possible. Again, if you are someone that is suffering from severe anxiety, I don't necessarily think that these are going to cure you, but they could really help support when those feelings pop up for you. So whenever that sense of anxiety starts to arise, just acknowledge it, recognize that it's there, don't necessarily try to run from it. It's okay. We all deal with anxiety now and again. And if you can incorporate one or all of these tips or tactics, I really do believe that it will help you. If you did enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you go. By giving this video a like, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm, which helps our videos be seen by more people. And I just really appreciate the support. If you have any other topic requests for future videos, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know what topics we should cover. I'm really starting to lean more into talking about mental health and just like things that I'm personally kind of dealing with and hoping that I can share some of my own personal struggles in a relatable way that hopefully are helpful to you if you are in a similar boat. So I hope that today's video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and being here. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.